Hey, Mark Warnke here, packoats.com. Um, so this is a really interesting place that I find myself. We have dedicated ourselves to having complete and accurate information for the entire goat world, um, specifically to pack goats, but at the same time, we're as proficient with dairy goats, meat goats, pet goats, and pack goats. And one of the big issues is making sure that we're feeding weathers properly. And so um, a member of my staff, Christy, is just a really talented both researcher and has a background in biology. And we've spent an enormous amount of time getting all the most up-to-date information um, to have a comprehensive entire nutritional guide for you. And, and it's, it's, it's five pages of, of elaborate science-based um, referenced information I believe it's actually six or maybe in seven anyway lots of really extensive information that's downloadable to you in a PDF and what I want to take a second and say is that some of you are gonna read this and go well that's not what Mark told me last time and you're exactly right the information that we've gotten in the past in the goat community it's no secret to us that there's lots of legend and lore and the science is actually incomplete as well and so we tried to create the most extensive and most well research based nutritional guide for you to know how to feed your goat and specifically towards those thus that are owning weathers and the risk of urinary calculi so our goal was to prevent urinary calculi through nutrition and give you all the information that you need from your water to your food to your feeding plan babies uh, introduction of grain or not all that different stuff and so what we've done is 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 put it all in a an easy to use PDF and we're going to be releasing a video that also goes down chapter by chapter explaining these things in detail and those are available in the pack Out 101 course and in our how to raise a baby goat course and our nutritional guide so you, you can really get the information firsthand and and become super knowledgeable on your own because the reality is all this information it's not one uniform system that applies to everyone or everywhere. It's going to be based on your farm, your water, your forage, your hay, your mineral, and your area. And you have to educate yourself so that you can have a personalized program for your goats and your area and so that you can keep your goats healthy and safe. So, you know, on a chapter level, you know, you can talk about, we talk about grain and you know, the fact that you goats don't actually need grain to grow well, um, they just don't. One of the things that I do like to use grain for is to teach them not to bloat and how to manage their feeding system. But again, they don't need it for rapid growth. Just good nutrition will get it done and grain offers a risk in terms of the formation of urinary calculi. We have a little wind going on here. Um, and then, you know, if we go in and we speak about urinary calculi, specifically towards milking does, breeding bucks, weathers, uh, and then educate you on what urinary calculi is and how it works. We talk about pH levels and acidic levels that, that are created by the food that you give them, bloat and, uh, and, and uh, the impact of that, what causes it and how to alleviate it. And then we go into a detail of the nutritional plan for adult bucks, weathers, non-pregnant does, kids, um, as well as additional items like preventatives that you can use things like ammonium chloride and apple cider vinegar in your water and then Christy did a tremendous job of creating this whole grass nutritional information to tell you what types of grass grass hay are are the most well balanced for a goat's diet being orchard and timothy grass as a general rule that's <clears throat> something you don't have those available in your area but again learning about what the option is and then how you overcome that with your feeding system. So we have a detailed list of the calcium and phosphorus ratio in all these different kinds of grasses and feeds and everything else. We talk about mineral deficiencies and how they affect uh, goat health, um, copper, selenium, uh, how to overcome you know, all, all that, how to implement systems to help your mineral in your area, and then how to test your water um, and then how to begin to pay attention to your goat and his body composition and score and how to tell whether he's healthy or not and your nutritional system is working. <coughs> Lastly, Christy kind of has some of the information that, that is the reason why we did this. Um, I recently lost a, a very important goat to me, Ridge. Uh, after nine years of raising pack goats, 
um, and owning at least 40 adults. I had my very first case of urinary calculi that showed up uh, on the trail. The, as far as the testing that we've done on him, um, Ridge was affected basically by um, dehydration, we believe. And the dehydration just allowed the blockage of normal stones to be passed to create kind of a log jam in his system. And unfortunately, um, we were part of the people that were, um, my vet, despite being decently knowledgeable, didn't know how to make the, the, the penis come out and clip the pizzle, and, which is a harder process than you think it is. And, and uh, unfortunately, we had to put him down. And so uh, a lot of this was spawned on by our own personal issues. What was really interesting is that happened during the research phase of this. So we hope that you take advantage of the PDF that you can find on packoats.com. This will be available to you and there's no charge for it. It's free. We want to help the goat community. And that we hope that you see that things like this are some of the services that we provide for free because we care about goats and goat owners and that things like the courses and the goat club membership are how you are support us to continue to put out cutting edge information like this and do the time and energy it takes and uh, sorry about the road noise and the wind noise but uh, you know that's life on the farm here at Kimberlite Ranch um, I really really appreciate you um, please forgive me for the fact that we had information in the past that wasn't completely accurate I was feeding my own goats that same system and uh, we feel like we really have our arms around what to do and how to help you to feed your goats well um, we highly suggest the goat club membership to you um, which you can find on packgoats.com and we highly suggest that you take the courses to become a highly educated goat owner for yourself so I hope you find that helpful Mark Warnke